this is me, Little Lighty, and my potato quality camera. Sorry for butchering any of these words. Today, I'm going to be unboxing Nandred Miku Nanago from the Quint S. Entry Quinn Tuplets. She is made up by Good Smile Company. She normally retails at 4,800 yen. Since this is the second re-release of her Nandred, I was able to get her from CD Japan for 4,015 yen. Brand new. Sadly, she has slightly gone up in price, not too much, which is kind of good. Hopefully, you guys can still get her close to the retail price if you have missed out. Anyways, enough blabbing on about those types of details. Let's take a look at her box. I do love her box design. I love these coloured petals on her box. They look so nice and I've liked that they've done this lovely blue colour with the petals going around these three parts. That looks really cool. Here's the top of the box. I have already removed her seal so it's easier for me to open up during the video. Ooh, let's take a look at her. And oh, there's nothing interesting on the inside of her box, which is a shame. I do like it when the companies put some really cool designs on the inner cardboard sheet, but she does not have any. That's a bit of a shame. Let's open her up and throw her from the plastic prison. Ooh, and here she is. Oh, she looks so cute. Oh my gosh, I love her hair sculpt. Oh wow, her hair sculpt looks really good. I like the way how it goes through her headphones. That's really cool. Let's have a look at the back. Oh, I like that bit as well. I like how it tucks underneath her headphones. That's so cool. Wow, I love her hair sculpt. It looks great. And I love how they designed her eyes as well. They look so nice. And her little headphones as well, like she has in the anime. But like, I can't really see how the headphones look on that side but I do like the look of her jumper I do like the little line that go down I don't know what that called and I like the little pockets you can faintly see the buttons on her jumper oh, she looks so cute I like a little green skirt there as well and I like the way how they've painted her tights. They do look like tights, which is good. And she's got cute little standard looking school shoes. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love her design. I love her hair. Okay then, let's put you in lavender. So, her second face plate that she comes with is her little sulking face. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute there. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. This cheek actually extends out a little bit more, if you can see it that way. That is so cool. Oh, I like that. I like her little mouth is like that. It's so cute. Let's take a look at her third faceplate. Her 
blushing at first. Oh, so cool. I love how her eyes look on this one. Mm, the little blushing face. It looks so nice. Okay then, let's take a look at this bit. Ooh, this is actually in a package of its own. This is the part where you can display her when she is taking her tights off. Oh, like, I will admit, it does look a little bit weird <laughs> when it's not fully set up. But it looks really nice and the details look really good. There is the bottom and there go is the big part that you put her jumper into. And there you go, put that back in a lot. And let's take a look at her arms. Uh oh, I didn't put that back in that well. Here are the arms. Which ones are these? I think these are the parts that go with these legs right here from the glues but they look really nice not really much to say about arms here are the arms here's the can I have the second pair of arms please give me a guinea thank you and here are these ones these ones look really nice although I don't know what happened with this bit right here Looks like there was a slight accident with the blue paint. Oh well, that's going to be hidden anyway. I'm not bothered about that. But they look really nice. And it says where well, you can move them about. At this part of the arm. Which is cool. Put those in there. Ooh, the, her hand parts are behind a sticky thing. So she's got this one right here, her little hand part. And here is the one where she is holding the matcha soda cap. Ooh, I like the details on that one. That one is really cool. The details on that are really nice and you can see the Japanese text right there. Oh, I'm holding it upside down. Oh, that's a shame. It would be nice if they did the details of the can on top. That would have been really cool as well. But what they did, it looks really nice. Oh my gosh, I'm holding it upside down again. Oh boy. But it looks really nice. Is it removable? Gentle. No, it feels like it is stuck on them. Trying to gently pull it apart. Nope, it is stuck on them for all eternity. But it looks really nice. And the only other thing that she has is her base. I'm going to put this on top. So I'm going to let the stuff will go out. There we go. Let's take a look. It looks like it's just your standard looking Nandroid base. But I do hate that they put these down with tape. I do really miss the old Nandroid packaging. Where these bases used to have their own slot. It would be nice if you had that again. Okay. Here's the face. Oh, she comes with a really, really long peg. Oh my gosh, that is so long. Ugh. So much tape. And so loud too. Do you have to be that loud tape? Okay, here we go. That is really long. Oh no, oh no, no, please don't stick to the base. Thank you. 
my gosh, that is the longest I have ever seen a pug. That is really long. Uh, maybe the pug, the shorter one, couldn't get close into her butt because of her hair, maybe? Hmm. Interesting. Here is her spot neck joint. And here is her base. And that is the text, if you can see it. My potato quality comma. But your standard looking base. Okay then, that is the end of part one. In the next part, I'm going to be trying Miku out in the various poses I can see displayed on her box. Until then, thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye!